It's time for Fast Five, baby. Hi. Simply hi. Fast. Cinco. Five. True or false? Louisiana's Ragin' Cajun football team will be a bowl team this season. True. They're going to be underdogs in all seven road games, but I got to believe they're going to get at least one of them. And I think they're going to run the table at home for the first time since 2011. So I'm going with true, and I honestly think they may win more than six. False. They're going to come up just short. He said it. That road schedule, there'll be dogs in all of those games. They'll win one they're not supposed to. They'll lose another they're supposed to. Looking at five and seven this year. Battle round. The LSU Tigers will finish with more wins than they did last season. Yes, but only because they'll get to play that extra game this year. Uh, assuming they play this Saturday, and it looks like they will with the game moved to the Dome. Let's go with true. I'm going to say false. And I'm going to say false because he said true. No, actually, I think they probably do have a pretty good chance to get as many wins as last year for exa exactly the reason he said. But I'm still saying they're not going to be any better than 8-4. Donkey round. In seven seconds or less, who has been the star of Saints preseason and training camp? How about Mr. Lattimore? He's the guy that, well, you know, he stays hurt all the time, and he just said that. The guy's gone out, and he's played well, and he's been he's been one of the one of the heroes uh, of the defense so far. So. Fifteen seconds. The Saints linebackers uh, have a lot of them have stood out for good reasons. AJ Klein's been absolutely fantastic. Donkey round. In seven seconds or less, should you take the over or under? on the New Orleans Pelicans at 39 and a half wins. Take the over. You got two top 20 players, you got three in the top 40. That equals at least a 500 record. You know they're gonna have multiple guys get hurt, Scott. It always happens that way. It's time for the winner and loser of the week. The loser for me is pretty easy. Scott Mitchell is the CEO of the Hamilton Tiger Cats. They hire Art Bryles to be the offensive coordinator. There's so much backlash that they have to rescind the order. And even after that, he's blaming the media in the United States for creating backlash. Suggest half the stuff that the media is saying isn't true. The guy doesn't get it. Guess what you get this week, big guy? Let's give winner of the week to the Cajun Navy. And for that matter, everyone that has donated their time, I get it's not sports related, but some athletes have donated their time. JJ Watts raised a lot of money. Everyone that has helped with Hurricane Harvey, so much work to be done, so much relief. There are things in this country that quite frankly, sometimes you say, gosh, can't we all just get along? But tragedies like this also, also show how much good there is in this great country and people coming together, Cajun Navy and everybody that has helped in the relief, you're the winner of the week. You know, J.J. Watt originally pledged $100,000 and said the goal was $200,000. Now they're in the millions of dollars that's been pledged. Good on you. Yep, uh, I think up around $5 million. Five's a good number. That's it for Fast Five. We'll see you next week for Saints win-loss predictions. And let's face it. This, this particular episode is worth $5 million.